नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर चैत्रा गौड़ा कंसलटेंट ऑब्सट्रीशियन गायनकॉलजिस्ट एट क्लाउड नाइन हॉस्पिटल बेलंदूर यूटीआई इन प्रेग्नेंसी मीन्स यूरिनरी ट्रैक्ट इन्फेक्शन विच मीन्स इन्फेक्शन ऑफ द किडनीज यूरेटर ब्लैडर एंड यूरेत्रा वाई इज विमेन इन प्रेग्नेंसी मोर प्रिडिस्पोज टू यूरिनरी इन्फेक्शंस firstly there are certain hormonal changes in pregnancy which causes relaxation in the urinary tract and also in the blood vessels and this causes vesicouretric reflex vesicouretric reflex means from the bladder the urine has a tendency to go up to the ureter and the kidneys this acts as a needles for infection spread secondly women in pregnancy have a tendency that the urine might contain more amount of proteins and sugars and hormones compared to normal women and this act as a needles for infection thirdly the bladder in pregnancy will be compressed by the uterus and there will be more amount of residual urine and this residual urine again will act as an needles for infection and uh, we have this e coli bacterial infection which is quite common in pregnancy and group b streptococcus which is present in the vagina also can cause a urinary infection also frequent sexual activities for some women might uh, predispose for urinary tract infections how do you know that you are having a new ti main symptoms of urinary tract infection will be frequency women will be passing more than 5 to 6 times urine in daytime and more than 2 to 3 times at night time if this frequency is crossed that means there is a probability of urinary infection also burning sensation each time when the women goes for peeing is a symptom and also sometimes there might be a bloody micturition and what can it cause to the pregnancy that means complications of urinary tract infection in pregnancy see urinary tract infections can lead to preterm labor because the infection itself can lead to increase in the chemicals which can initiate uterine contractions anemia over a long period of time if the uti is persisting then it can cause low birth weight sometimes severe infection like respiratory distress syndrome also in the baby and anemia and it complications will be more in pregnancy how do we prevent urinary tract infection we have to increase our water intake drink at least 8 glasses of water per day and do not stagnate urine for longer time if you are feeling like going for peeing you should go at that time and uh, urinate and also when you are using toilet paper always the wiping should be from front to back and it should never be from back to front so if it comes from back to front the e coli which is present in the fecal matter will come and get infected into the urinary tract infections so make sure wiping is front to back the women who are already have recurrent urinary tract infections if you are sexually active after each sexual activity it is better you go and void so these are the preventive factors coming to the treatment aspect so when you have these symptoms and when you come for doctor we will do a urine examination we will check your symptoms if the infection is severe like if you are having fever because of that or septic symptoms are there then we will start the antibiotics immediately otherwise we will do a routine urine culture sensitivity test and start antibiotic depending on the urine culture sensitivity so once you complete your urine infection treatment for 2 weeks time you have to repeat a urine culture after 2 weeks so that we make sure that it is cleared and it is not persistent